the heading angle. The angle, I'm assuming now incidentally, in this assumption, if you didn't think about it, that uh, the vehicle, the velocity vector is always along the axis that the vehicle is pointing in. This is not always the case. In an aircraft or a boat, then the, the, the body angle is not necessarily where the velocity vector is. In other words, uh, you could be heading in one, the, the, uh, the vessel vehicle could be pointed in one direction, but the velocity could be in another direction. This is also in an automobile that's skidding. In fact, the, the condition for a skid is when the, when, the, uh, when the car is not going in a direction it's pointed in. Uh, so when the car is pointed this way, but going this way, for example, then it's skidding, right? Normally you assume that if everything is going correctly, that the, the vehicle is going in the direction it's pointed, and the body is pointed, and they call that the body velocity. Uh, so uh, I'm assuming now that, that the, the velocity of the centroid in, in, in Cartesian coordinates is in the direction that the body is pointing in. There's no side slip, as they, they put it. Those are the dynamics I give you. And by and large, there's no mechanism to cause the vehicle to slip or to skid. So I'm assuming that, that there's no skidding in the, in the vehicle, even though you, the dynamics as I gave them to you, I said that x dot is V cosine theta and the y dot, I guess, and x dot is V sine theta. It really doesn't matter. I can define theta any no, place I want. V sine. The y dot is V sine theta. Uh, y. Y is sine, and the x is cosine. Uh, well, not the way I did it over here, yeah, yeah, I know you but it doesn't matter. I can define theta, I can define theta, I can define this as theta. Right? In that case, x would be v cosine theta and y would be v sine theta. It doesn't matter how I define the angle, it's just simply an arbitrary definition. The way I've shown it here, y dot, and this is the x-axis, it's the y-axis, then y dot is v cosine theta and x dot is v sine theta. It really doesn't matter uh, how, how I define the angle, okay? If I did it in the paper, I did it the other way, so change it. Or I'll make this the angle theta, as I said, whatever you, whatever you wish. Okay. Uh, so, the idea is, if I'm not on a trajectory, what I want to do is, the goal is to make the vehicle move from wherever it is to the trajectory. And when it's on a trajectory, to stay on the trajectory. So that's the goal that you fill in in, in your report. To acquire the trajectory, as one would say, and then once acquire, having acquired the trajectory, to stay on it. And a trajectory is stored in the computer. In other words, you're not, you don't have a line painted on the ground that, uh, with a following uh, servo to follow the line. The only way you know where you are is by recording the wheel position. Yeah. Are we going to actually have to be concerned with that, the, the trajectory and, and how it gets the trajectory, the, the trajectory will be, yeah, the tra in, in your design, the trajectory will be, in your control system design, the trajectory will be somehow in your, uh, in the computer program. The computer program will, will, will have, will know what the trajectory is. And, and the trajectory is defined one way of defining it, I guess you can define it a lot of ways, but you know, basically x and y, x is a function of y. That's how you define a curve, right? 
So you can you can have if it's a, a circle, then you can say the trajectory. Let's say it's a circle, and the circle is over here. Okay, this is a bar. So if I remember my high school geometry, it would be x minus x zero squared plus y minus y <laughs> zero squared is equal to r squared. Okay. So and and what and of course if if if, this, if the vehicle, if the x and y of the vehicle satisfy this equation, I'm on the trajectory. If they don't, I'm not on the trajectory, right? So if this equation is not satisfied by the x and y of my vehicle, then I want to make this equation satisfied. If it is satisfied, then I want to keep it satisfied, moving along this with a velocity v along this trajectory so the vehicle will, will move along on a curve. Okay? Now, the method that I suggested to use, which works when you're both on a trajectory and not on a trajectory, is to store, instead of storing it as an equation, store a table. Uh, x and y. And you have x1, y1, x, uh, x2, y2, uh, xn, and yn. You have to figure out how to, it's a two-dimensional array in MATLAB, for example, where you have the x's in, in one coordinate and the y's in another coordinate, and you have a two-dimensional array stored which has points on this trajectory, as many as you, as many as you like. It really doesn't matter. Maybe 10 points or 100. Uh, and now what you do is uh, what you do is you take you compare your x you 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 compare your x and y x and y your actual x and y to each of these. Uh, or find if you want the distance. You you do a search, right? You you save and I know so for i equals one to one hundred. Uh, di actually it's squared, but there's no to save time. That's equal to x minus xi squared plus uh, y minus yi squared. So you're going uh, you're gonna to get an array, and we'll call this d, uh, 100, uh, 90, 80, 50, 80, back to 100. Okay? So you'll calculate, this turns out it's very complicated for you to do, but this is very easy for the computer to do. You just write a little loop. For all the, for all the points on a trajectory, calculate how far away you are from each point. Okay? So one of these is going to be uh, the min equals the min of D. There's a MATLAB program that will do that. It'll take the minimum of, uh, of these. So now you'll find the minimum distance from your point to the trajectory. Okay? Um, you have seen